Foster and Partners have worked with Mott McDonald and the DIS Partners to develop a design to transform San Jose's Derridan Station into one of America's leading transportation hubs. This new integrated station concept plan will combine Caltrain, BART, California High Speed Rail and the light rail all under one roof, providing a seamless passenger experience while creating a new gateway to downtown San Jose and a catalyst for future urban growth. The new station will act as an anchor to promote economic prosperity and social equity benefiting all parties involved. The redevelopment will ensure a future-proofed, flexible, adaptive and innovative station that is both a destination and complements other economic development initiatives for the city. The team has optimised the DIS scheme's site boundaries to retain the historic station while also looking at ways to minimise the visual impact of the elevated viaduct. We will free up the space under the platforms to create a vibrant new retail experience that is accessible from both sides of the track. This movie illustrates the elevated track option. It retains the existing historic depot building, elevates the tracks and creates space for a new concourse underneath. Cahill Street is turned into a new pedestrianised plaza that intuitively guides pedestrians into the station while improving east-west connections across the rail corridor, reconnecting communities on either side. The historic depot building is the front door to the new station in San Jose. The roof design is a modern interpretation of the historic station roof with a 50-50 glass to solid ratio so that the platforms and the concourse below are flooded with natural light. We have cut slots in the platform and placed the elevators and escalators within the slot. This further allows natural daylight down into the concourse below. The design features locally sourced low carbon materials such as timber and natural stone and creates a new pedestrianised public realm that gives back to the city. The historic building will house the train timetables. Passengers enter through the central concourse which is flooded with natural light, includes landscaping, seating and provides direct access to passenger amenities like food and beverage and bike storage. From here, access up to the platform retains the rooftop view of the original historic depot building. To connect from California High Speed Rail to LRT, passengers can either navigate down to the central concourse or go outside into the plaza. Once out into Cahill Plaza, the BART Fates 2 station will be directly ahead. Here you can see that the nature of Cahill is transformed, utilising the space under the tracks to create bars and restaurants facing out into the plaza. The LRT entrance is via a pair of glass pavilions placed within the plaza that provide direct access down to the LRT platforms below. To connect from BART to Caltrain, passengers first move into the central concourse which is lined with bars, restaurants and amenities. This central concourse connects the north and south concourses together and provides direct access up to the platforms above. So in conclusion, the design is at 5% and is an evolving entity, 
but hopefully you can see how the design is developing and you can get a taste for what the passenger experience will be like once the station is complete.